hello again. Uh, this is another uh, Abacus tutorial. In this uh, tutorial, uh, I want to uh, retrofit or restrain the concrete column. This is the concrete column which we conduct two kind of pro uh, analysis. One is was uh, 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 load performance and another was uh, displacement. So we applied uh, the first step uh, displacement and we uh, got the capacity of the column. And the second, uh, we use that capacity and perform an explicit uh, dynamic analysis and we uh, got these results. Uh, visualization here. We got these results. Uh, I go to the concrete damage. So in this step, 2.5 and it's totally uh, uh, 2.5 C. So after 2.5 second reach, uh, which the ultimate load is reached, the concrete uh, uh, totally damaged and uh, uh, the failure, the failure become uh, infinite. Uh, if I go to the displacement, so you can see the displacement is very very large. So that means that there is no not nothing. Uh, uh, left to resist the load until here here uh, so uh, now we want to uh, improve uh, the overall behavior of this column by using a uh, uh, CFRP uh, composite material in the part in the part I want to create a CFRP composite material going to call uh, CFRP but uh, let me say one more thing and here is a model one which we used uh, static and this is dynamic we also can do uh, a strength and use both solver static and, and dynamic or standard or explicit so in this uh, post I want to go to again copy the previous one uh, this is a third uh, and I can call uh, CFRP, which is a model with CFRP. Uh, this is again static. So for uh, for the uh, learning how you model, how you should model, you should take the uh, first video and then come go to a second and then third this video. Here is I go to check and this is a column, uh, longitudinal rebar uh, straps. Now in the part, in the part, I can go here, part 4, and I can call CFRP box. Uh, CFRP box. So after I give this and I select shell element, I should use extrusion. In the extrusion, I will give the size of this uh, box to equal to the size of the column minus 150 and minus 150 one point and 150 positive at that point so now this is a composite uh, CFRP so the depth is equal to the depth of the concrete this is it now we want to go to properties and define a material here I have a material uh, CFRP in my CFRP in my lab. I want to put included this one. And uh, for composite material, we usually use uh, uh, ashing damage. So this is the criteria, and uh, this is the damage evaluation. You can see go to damage evaluation. This three pa four parameters, and also the density the elastic the unit is millimeter newton which is uh, called megapascal and in the section we will define a composite section composite section in the composite section we have each la eight layer uh, eight layer and using convenient shell now here we should define the region uh, this is the we can call the 
XZ plane surface uh, sh shell and this is the ZY shell so we're gonna divide it to two kind of region select this one go to edit and I want to select this one and this one now I want to change this axis to axis 2 now you can see that's normal and this is 2 and here is the material CFRP material is defined now the thickness each layer each thickness is 0 0.146 and now for the uh, rotational angle you can see if 0 0 and uh, 45 uh, minus 45 and give 90 and 90 you can see the rotation and again 19 and uh, 45 and minus 45 and 0 so we're giving this one and you also can uh, consider the integration point in the shell or composite material because it's quite important in case you have some uh, uh, such as for the aerospace structures uh, the integration point has quite important you want to uh, determine the stress in uh, very closely so then you have to create, create a, a very large one in case if I want to uh, uh, get 5 so then I can call edit 5 so this 5 uh, you also can uh, change integration point based, your, uh, based on your uh, your uh, project or your work now uh, one more thing is uh, that uh, we want to uh, the thickness should be out of the concrete column so we can go to offset and specify bottom now we can go to c so the first part is finished the second is uh, we want to create again and this is again layer 2 and selecting the same uh, the other two parts of region and using this axis 2 and the material is going to select cfrp and the thickness is again uh, 0.146 and the angle is 0 uh, 45 and uh, minus 45 and uh, 90 again 90 and then uh, 45 and uh, minus 45 and 0 so the integration point also we want to increase to 5 and now uh, here in the offset we select bottom so this point should be connected to the uh, column if I go to the assembly and I want to bring the uh, C4P box okay and I want to rotate this here and I want to move this C4P to the uh, this uh, area of concrete so what I want to do is to see is it the correct position or not I'm going to assembly and turn on the shell thickness and in the shell thickness okay and I want to see is it correct or not now you can see the shell is out of the concrete if I go to the top and then it will be inside so that's not correct now uh, we finish the modeling and we don't need anything in the assembly in the step uh, we have uh, we have that uh, step uh, which we created 10 seconds and this is the other uh, parameters uh, we go to uh, in here we want to see the uh, ashing damage uh, parameters we can select these other parameters ok and for the output because we again applying the uh, applying the displacement so we have one point which is give us reaction force and displacement uh, ok now 
Now we finished here, we go to the uh, interaction here. So in the interaction, we want to uh, contact the uh, CFRP with concrete. So we have two, three choice. We have, even we can consider a tie connection, there is no movement. But in practically, there is some movement. So uh, I want to find that, that uh, um, here, that connection. So here is full connection point. Exactly one side, two side, three side. Um, in case if you want to some slip or some sort of fraction between two, you can define a properties or you can go to define uh, cohesive or you can uh, here uh, select tie. Uh, but uh, um, I want to consider uh, uh, some properties. I can go to here, create uh, uh, contact properties. Uh, in the contact, I can go to tangential behavior. So I want a very slight uh, uh, fraction and also uh, again and uh, going to also uh, one uh, uh, normal behavior so that art contact because concrete is art, art material so that both should be in art contact so now we define this one and okay and here is uh, the next thing is the loading uh, so we had the static displacement load 20 millimeter and we have a boundary condition in the bottom in the initial step here and uh, now we reach to the meshing uh, we already finished uh, the concrete meshing uh, let's see the concrete uh, the meshing size is 50 so now I want to go to the box and I want to give 50 for this also Now here is 15. Other part is completed and going to job. In the job, this is called, uh, we also can call the retrofitted RC column uh, with. CFRP and now this is the model third and we want to submit it uh, we couldn't uh, consider any failure for the concrete uh, because in a previous we did in case if you want to uh, see how they behave and you can uh, play with this parameter and adding increasing decreasing this parameter will give you some uh, idea how they work so now it's start running and we're gonna see now here is the first step is begin uh, 0.05 second and we have 10 um, seconds so uh, it needs about uh, one hour to finish Uh, now uh, I want to stop the uh, model uh, because the uh, the increment the time increment is very very uh, small and it didn't uh, complete soon and because the column already reached to the uh, failure goodwill or failure uh, or degradation parts so I'm going to uh, kill it and go to see the result uh, this is the result uh, first stress strain and i want to uh, go to here and just uh, drop the cfrp box and here is the cfrp has uh, got some stress here and, uh, and the concrete is go to see the concrete is uh, damaged or not and this is the concrete damaged uh, showing the damage
concrete tension damage. So the tension is ESH reached to 0.1 to less than 1. Uh, so that's the maximum. This area is the maximum. And the compressive, this is the compressive. Yes, this area is uh, totally uh, damaged. Now uh, we want to uh, go to draw the capacity curve. Let's see, uh, is this uh, uh, CFRP improved or enhanced the uh, vertical or uh, gravity uh, bearing of the column or not? So let's go to output. And here is the two point. I'm going to save it as it is. And we're gonna go to combine and put a combine, select the combine and minus one times uh, u2 and comma minus one times or u2. Save it and this is called FED2. Uh, now we can go to and delete these parts, so no need. Now here is the uh, first one and the second one. I'm gonna plot it and I can change the color of FED2. Let's go to be blue and using a large. So now uh, this blue curve is the uh, this blue curve is showing the uh, CFRP uh, with a uh, reinforcement concrete uh, response and the red uh, curve is the uh, just reinforcement concrete uh, column. Uh, there is not too much obvious uh, even we retrofit the column by CFRP uh, because CFRP is a tensile material, tensile strain, high tensile strain material. So usually that work for the tensile uh, and also flexural. So in the previous example, we had a beam and when we uh, retrofit with CFRP, so the, the load bearing capacity is increased significantly. Let me show you one of them. Uh, here is the uh, previous uh, tutorial when we uh, strain the, uh, the the beam reinforcement beams with CFRP. So then, then the, the uh, flexural behavior or moment behavior so increase significantly. Now it's reached to hundred, two hundred percent. But in the column here, uh, even it didn't uh, take the same why because it's a tensile material so uh, it, it doesn't have any uh, 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 bearing capacity for the uh, compressive and the thickness is very less total one two millimeter but in the tensile when we add some uh, lateral load in the column and uh, that time the do a comparison with uh, with CFRP and without CFRP and uh, that exactly the uh, lateral loading bearing or the uh, flexural behavior will increase significantly. Uh, so uh, this is the end of the tutorial. If you have any question, please put in the comment and I will find time to answer you. See you next time.